Hey, look at I'm Kaylee Oregon. Today we're here with AJ Soto, and welcome to another episode of How to Hobby. So, what are we talking about today? Uh, we're gonna be talking about thrifting. Okay, so could you describe a little bit of what that is? Okay, so thrifting, it's this could be defined as a lot of things, but basically the general term is you going out and scavenging or like just hunting for things, like finding uh, just another man's trash and making it your your treasure, practically practically what it is. All right. So how long have you been thrifting? Um, I'd probably say since I was like eight, six. Yeah, six. I think that's a fair number. Yeah, I've been doing it since I was six. Uh, my family um, wasn't always financially well off, and so we'd usually go to like thrift stores, Goodwill, um, farmers markets, uh, just things like that. And I would just always find things that interested me. And I'm also just a very, very weird person. I don't like I don't like conventional like things. Like uh, for instance, I hate. Uh, minimalism so I'm like if you go to my room right now it looks like a thrift shop so like I've been doing this for a long time and so I just there's just a lot of really old things and like dusty things and like getting dirty in a, like a shop or like a middle of a field with a bunch of garbage that like ooh makes me feel good so what are your like favorite places or shops to go thrifting um there's a lot there's not like one specific place I always go to because if I always go there, then there's most likely not going to be a lot of things coming in that are new if you're just constantly abusing this one location. So I like the scatter. Um, I One of the big ones I really like is Canton Weekend um, Trade Days. I love them. Um, I love uh, Trader's Village. It's up in towards Arlington or Dallas, somewhere around there. And I also just like uh, Great Samaritans, uh, Goodwills, just little Ma and Pa. Uh, thrift shops and stuff like that because you can find stuff anywhere and then you can also thrift things online like on facebook my marketplace there's people who have free things or things that are cheap that you can thrift that are just the same so pretty cool right. so how would you uh, want the other people to get into this hobby how would you recommend they start um i'd say probably find your niche like what are you into like really reduce what you're into because me personally i'm like again i'm into older things um like I really like things that are really outdated nowadays, like radios, vinyls, um, telephones, things like that. Um, older clothes, like suits, slacks. I love slacks. Um, older paintings, like uh, old canes, stuff like that. I really like really old like things that aren't used a lot nowadays. Um, but there's people I know who go thrifting for like cassettes, um, cameras that still work. Um, people who thrift for appliances, that's niche, but people do it. Um, cars even there's like, you just got to find what like really gets you going and you're most likely going to find something out there. Would you recommend this hobby for anyone else? Um, yeah, I think it's fine. It's a financially, it's a, it's a hobby you financially can keep stable because in most thrifting things are cheap they're really cheap a lot of these people don't know what gold they have especially if you have a really niche category that you like for instance for me i like a lot of show tunes and so i get a bunch of vinyls and majority of the people their uh rule of hand is usually if i don't know the person or the name you can have it for however how much you want to pay me and i usually pay them how much i want to pay them because nobody remembers who ethel merman is so um it's something you can financially sustain for a long time and there's always going to be something that interests you even if that day you didn't find much there's still gonna be something cool you found that day so pretty cool all right, well, thank you, AJ, for coming. Of course. And thank you for watching, Wildcats.